The Bat and the Two Weasels One day, a bat was flying around free of care when a weasel saw it. The weasel did not like birds, and on seeing the bat, it approached closer and pounced onto it. The bat pleaded with the weasel to let it go, but all in vain. He went on to tell the weasel that he had a family, a wife and two children who were waiting to have him back at home. The weasel firmly told the bat that it did not like birds, and so there was no way it would let it go. So the bat thought of an idea. It pretended to be hurt and begged the weasel to let it go, saying that it was not a bird. The bat encouraged the weasel to look at the bat's body so that it would get to know that it is a mouse and not a bird. Taking pity on the bat and much against its wish, the weasel let go of the bat. A few days later, the same bat got caught by another weasel. This time too, when the bat pleaded for mercy, the weasel was not in any mood to let it go. The weasel clearly stated that it had no liking for mice whatsoever and there was no way that it would let go of the bat. On hearing this, the clever bat thought on its feet and immediately adapted to the situation. It quickly told the weasel that it was not a mouse but a bird. The weasel, however, would not believe it. The bat then flaunted his wings and told the weasel that it was not a mouse. It encouraged the weasel to confirm that it was not a mouse and just flew around to prove it. The weasel looked at the bat and was convinced that it was not a mouse. Thus the bat was allowed to fly away. It is therefore important to be able to think on our feet and rescue ourselves from tough situations. <laughs>